The Indian Navy has commissioned Ikshak, the third large survey vessel, built by GRSE, at Kochi on November 6, 2025. Featuring over 80% indigenous content, Ikshak enhances India's hydrographic and oceanographic survey capabilities. Equipped with advanced sensors, autonomous underwater vehicles, remotely operated vehicles and a helicopter deck, it will conduct coastal and deep sea mapping to bolster maritime safety. The vessel embodies Atmanirbha Bharat, symbolizing India's expanding self-reliance and technical prowess in naval shipbuilding. In a major stride against stealth warfare, DRDO has confirmed breakthroughs in quantum and photonic radar systems, capable of detecting fifth-generation fighters, like China's J-20 and the US F-35. Photonic radar trials in mid-2025 showed detection of low RCS targets beyond 200 kilometers with sub-meter accuracy, while quantum radar prototypes using entangled photons promise unmatched sensitivity. These indigenous technologies, backed by Rs 500 crore funding, aim to render stealth aircraft visible to India's defenses by 2026. Amid rising undersea competition, DRDO is developing a next-generation variant of its electronic heavyweight torpedo, capable of striking targets at depths up to 800 meters, surpassing the current 600-meter limit. The upgrade, driven by the threat of China's Type 093 Shang-class submarines, rated for 700 meters, will feature reinforced casings, lithium-based power plants, and AI depth profiling. Sea trials are planned by 2027 to 28, positioning India for parity in deep-water anti-submarine warfare. India has unveiled Project Pragya Shakti, a cutting-edge common electronic warfare software framework that will integrate the Army, Navy, and Air Force's EW systems into a single AI-driven network. The platform links U.S., Russian, French, and Indian hardware for seamless data sharing, predictive threat analysis, and real-time countermeasures. With eight specialized software modules and a 25-month development timeline, Pragya Shakti marks India's leap toward AI-enabled electromagnetic dominance by 2027. India is fast-tracking an indigenous 155mm ramjet power precision round, reaching Mach 3.5 and 65,000 feet, four ranges up to 150 kilometers. It carries a 5.2 kg warhead, promises circular error probable under 5 meter, using inertial, laser and nav IC guidance, and costs under $100,000 a round. An expression of interest for 1,966 rounds, drew IITs, public labs like ARDE, and private firms like Munitions India Limited and Bharat Forge together. 25 prototypes lead to mass production plans to give the Army Deep Strike, GPS resilient fires. Dassault Aviation has doubled the capacity of its Dassault Aircraft Services India Engineering Center in Pune to over 150 engineers, reinforcing its Make in India and Rafaeli offset commitments. The upgraded facility will focus on advanced fighter simulations, avionics integration, and India-specific enhancements for the IAF. Coming amid proposals for 114 new Rafaelis, the expansion strengthens Franco-Indian aerospace collaboration and positions Pune as a key node in Dassault's global supply chain. The Ministry of Defense dropped plans for three more French Scorpion submarines from MDL after unit costs of rupees 12,000 crore each proved too high. Instead, India will invest rupees 70,000 crore to buy six German diesel electric submarines with fuel cell AIP superior stealth, sensors and 21-day submerged endurance. MDL's proposed Scorpion hull lengthening retrofit was judged costly and complex. The German bid offers better value, tech transfer and faster, future-proof capability.
The Indian Air Force will arm its Tejas MK-1A fighters with the Astra MK-2 Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air Missile by late 2027, marking a breakthrough in India's indigenous air combat capability. Developed by DRDO, the Astra MK-2, featuring a ramjet-assisted propulsion system and a 160 to 200 kilometers range, will complete trials by mid-2026 before entering series production. Integration with the UTAM AESA radar-equipped Tejas MK-1A begins later this year, enabling network-centric warfare and cooperative targeting. Once operational, Astra MK-2 will replace costly imports, like the MBDA Meteor, making the Tejas a fully Indian, 4.5-generation multi-role platform ready for 2030's air dominance. The Indian Air Force has begun a full-scale modernization of its 261 Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighters, integrating indigenous software-defined radios and DR-118 radar warning receivers to boost electronic warfare and networked operations. Developed by DRDO and BEL, these systems replace Russian-origin components, enabling secure, multi-band data links and AI-driven threat detection. Spotters have confirmed upgraded jets at Ambala, Tezpur and Hasamara, with Hal Nashik producing 20 conversions monthly. Valued at Rs 65,000 crore, the Super Sukhoi program also adds gallium nitride-based Virupaksh AESA radars, AI cockpits, and meteor missile compatibility, elevating the fleet to near fifth-generation capability by 2030. A Russian delegation has confirmed that Hindustan Aeronautics Limited already possesses nearly 50% of the infrastructure and expertise required to locally produce the Su-57 E stealth fighter jet. The assessment, compiled by experts from Sukhoi Design Bureau, was delivered ahead of President Vladimir Putin's December 2025 India visit, where defense co-production will headline discussions with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Following inspections of House Nashik, Koraput, and Kasrugod facilities, Russia lauded India's readiness in airframe and engine integration, but noted the need for investments in stealth, composites, and sensors. HAL will soon submit a roadmap to the Ministry of Defense outlining its path to full-scale Su-57 e manufacturing. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.